Hi everyone and welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Wednesday the 18th of November. Um, there's not a huge amount that's changed actually in the past 24 hours um, overnight. We've seen that uh, equity markets have started to stabilise a little bit um, in Asia but that hasn't really been translated through to the European session and risk appetite is broadly um, a little bit cautious at the moment after that big strong rally. Now let's have a look at um, the slide. We can see that um, looking at uh, euro dollar, um, we've still got this mild positive move where the dollar is struggling a little bit. The euro dollar is um, now edging into that band of resistance 1880 to 1920. Um, medium term outlook remains neutral, but um, let's have a look at the chart and we can see that um, that Another positive candle yesterday, but not exceptionally positive, I would say. Um, we saw that uh, the candlestick was initially into that resistance band and then fell away into the close. And again, we're seeing early moves into that resistance band. But again, it's, it'll be interesting to see if it can hold that move because once more we see the RSI on the um, on euro dollar up into that 60 point, which is the point at which it's failed recently in uh, the last couple of months. So this is key resistance band territory now. Can the euro dollar break through 1920 is the question. 1920 was this reaction high that we saw back last um, last week, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that now is the um, the key level of resistance. And if you can move through that, then you are you are starting to think about whether you can retest that 120 big figure level. But I'll my, my expectation is I think euro dollar might begin to struggle um, around that 19 big figure to 20 big figure area purely because of jaw boning from the ECB and, and um, I don't know we're not expecting the euro to outperform exceptionally really at the moment so um, I think that euro dollar into that trading band of resistance could begin to struggle but at the moment it's still holding on to that near-term positive bias. So you're looking out for support levels and um, you're continuing to post higher lows actually on a continuing basis and market finding support at this, uh, this is the hourly chart finding support at um, the 55 hour moving average fairly consistently over the past few days. Um, and that comes in, if I get the cross here, you can see that that sort of starts to come in around the uh, 1850 mark um, and it's now traveling higher through that level. And uh, we're starting to see that uh, the continuation of the um, higher lows and uh, buying into weakness. So testing that resistance now and uh, we're looking for how that moves. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. You can click here to subscribe to our analysis videos, go to our website to sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.